Continuity Correction Factor Let's learn how to apply Continuity Correction Factor without using the formula. First, we have probability of x greater than or equals to 50. To determine whether to add or minus 0.5, draw a line with 50 on it like this. Because of the greater than or equal sign here, we need to draw an arrow going to the right of 50, touching the 50. In order for the arrow to touch 50, we reverse a little bit from 50. Since we reverse a little bit, we need to minus 0.5 from 50. Thus, the probability becomes probability of x greater than 49.5. Then we have probability of x greater than 50. To determine whether to add or minus 0.5, draw a line with 50 on it like this. Because of the greater than sign here, we need to draw an arrow going to the right of 50 without touching the 50. In order for the arrow to not touch 50, we move forward a little bit from 50. Since we move forward a little bit, we need to add 0.5 to 50. Thus, the probability becomes probability of x greater than 50.5. Next, we have probability of x less than or equals to 50. To determine whether to add or minus 0.5, draw a line with 50 on it like this. Because of the less than or equal sign here, we need to draw an arrow going to the left of 50, touching the 50. In order for the arrow to touch 50, we move forward a little bit from 50. Since we move forward a little bit, we need to add 0.5 to 50. Thus, the probability becomes probability of x less than 50.5. Then we have probability of x less than 50. To determine whether to add or minus 0.5, draw a line with 50 on it like this. Because of the less than sign here, we need to draw an arrow going to the left of 50 without touching the 50. In order for the arrow to not touch 50, we reverse a little bit from 50. Since we reverse a little bit, we need to minus 0.5 from 50. Thus, the probability becomes probability of x less than 49.5. We also have probability of x from 45 to 50. To determine whether to add or minus 0.5, draw a line with 45 and 50 on it like this. Because of the less than or equal signs here, we need to draw an arrow going to the right of 45, touching the 45, and an arrow going to the left of 50, touching the 50. In order for the arrow to touch 45, we reverse a little bit from 45. And in order for the arrow to touch 50, we move forward a little bit from 50. Since we reverse a little bit, we need to minus 0.5 from 45. And since we move forward a little bit, we need to add 0.5 to 50. Thus, the probability becomes probability of x between 44.5 and 50.5. Lastly, we have probability of x between 45 and 50. To determine whether to add or minus 0.5, draw a line with 45 and 50 on it like this. Because of the less than signs here, we need to draw an arrow going to the right of 45 without touching the 45, and an arrow going to the left of 50 without touching the 50. In order for the arrow to not touch 45, we move forward a little bit from 45. And in order for the arrow to not touch 50, 
we reverse a little bit from 50. Since we move forward a little bit, we need to add 0 0.5 to 45. And since we reverse a little bit, we need to minus 0 0.5 from 50. Thus, the probability becomes probability of x between 45.5 and 